Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Kart 7 playthrough. Uh, we are done with the main part of the playthrough and we're going to be moving on to... I guess you could call these the extras? I guess that's the best way to identify these as, so uh, that's what we're going to call them. Um, for today's video, we're going to be focusing on two things uh, because they're kind of like interconnected in a pretty unique way, I guess. Uh, going to be going over the Mario Kart channel and the time trials. Uh, so you may have noticed this Mario Kart channel down here. Uh, basically, if you click on it, it connects you to the network, I believe. It also connects you to people you've spot passed, street passed, and all that other stuff. And you'll actually uh, receive some ghost data uh, from those individuals. There'll also be some other things you receive. I I'd be lying if I said I knew all the context because I'm not a big street passer, but you do get ghost data uh, via spot pass, and you can basically uh, go to these tracks and race a couple of uh, ghosts of people from across the world. So that's kind of cool. As you can see, they seem to do this in um, cups because this is literally just the special cup of the main game. And if you click on these, you actually go to that course's time trial, you race a couple of ghosts, and you can also uh, try to set a new time yourself, which I will be doing uh, shortly. Uh, but as far as other things, uh, here you have the street pass list. This is the list of people that you've uh, street passed. Unfortunately, I have not done that on this 3DS because this is my recording 3DS and I can't exactly take this anywhere. I think I've street passed a few people on the uh, other system, my actual 3DS, uh, but obviously I can't record that so I can't really show that off. But basically you can just see all the list of people that you've street passed this game with before and I believe you can get like their ghost data from uh, some of the tracks they've done Trime Charles on. and. Um, I think they can also sometimes appear like in Grand Prix Cups as just like a ghost that you raced, although they're not a ghost, it's just an AI that controls them and whatnot, uh, which is kind of cool. I actually, uh, that actually happened when I was uh, doing some races off camera. I had a Grand Prix where I was racing another me character, and when I won the Grand Prix and beat that me character, they actually gifted me one of the carts I still needed. Which I thought was interesting because it's like, okay, well, I guess I didn't have to earn coins to get that one. So that was that was kind of cool. And it's actually kind of cool now because I actually have all of the uh, random cart pieces aside from the, uh, obviously, the Beast Glider. I don't have the other two gold uh, pieces that I need yet either. And also in addition to this, as I'll show in just a minute, if you click on this icon right here, you have your stats and your data. And as you can see, I actually have three stars now. Um, after I got the two three stars when I did all the mirror courses, I just went on a huge tear after that uh, recording where I literally just grabbed the game, I decided to just go for it because I was on a roll, and I actually got three stars on every single cup on every single engine class, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, on the screen you can actually see your VR, which is basically your rating based on uh, how well you do online. You have your number of wins, your number of losses, how many coins you've collected overall, and how many people you've street passed. And if you actually uh, click on your uh, character here, you can actually see a couple of different things. You can change the me, uh, you can change your message. I have Slim Kirby here at the top. Uh, you can customize the vehicle you have. I've kind of been using uh, this vehicle setup and it's actually kind of cool. I kind of like it actually. And then you can also create your own Grand Prix, which I basically did just uh, picking some of my most favorite courses in this game. So uh, that's basically what I did there. And you can also change your settings, which you know you can activate Street Pass and Spot Pass, where you're from and if you decide to show it. Uh, show if you're online or not. And of course, if you want to use the uh, gyro controls or not. And there's also like a little ranking, as you can see down there. It says Star Racer. Um, as far as I'm aware, depending on how you do online and just in general, um, that rating can actually change to a bunch of different things. Um, before I did like a little test online, I was actually a banana blitzer, which uh, basically means that I get a lot of banana items and I'm very skilled at throwing bananas in front of people. Uh, but now I have a Star Racer, which I'm not really 
sure what that means. Hold on, let me actually uh, look that up in um, online really quick. Mario Kart 7 titles, uh, Street Pass titles. I have a huge list, and I, I'll actually uh, post this. I'll try to remember to post this, like, on this video's description just to show it off. Um, according to this, the Star Racer, a very skilled racer who plays extremely well despite the name has... Wait. A very skilled racer who plays extremely well. That's basically what that means. So I guess I'm just... I guess I'm just damn good at video games, I guess. Also, sorry, my after I did that um, search online, my uh, recording a bit of a tank. I might uh, restart and reset that really quick just to make sure everything's uh, moving smoothly. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, really interesting how... I'm not really sure how that's graded necessarily because how can you... Like, skill is subjective, but yeah, apparently I, I race very well in uh, Mario Kart 7. And according to this on the end, it said it has nothing to do with getting the star ranks like I've been getting. Because I had Banana Blitzer when I had three stars. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But there's a lot of different things as well. There's Aerialist, which is, you know, skillful at using the glider. Aviator, stay in the air for as long as possible. Um, you have Boost Jumper, always attempts tricks boosts on ramps and when you're using mushrooms. Uh, comeback Kid, uh, good at getting back in the second or first from seventh or eighth by getting a good item and doing fairly well. Uh, quick starter always performs rocket starts at the start of every race and there's just a lot of other rankings as well I'll, I'll definitely again try to link you guys um, some information uh, with that in the video description uh, but yeah that's basically it uh, so that's basically all the information you need um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these courses um, you know what Bowser's Castle is actually not too long I'll go ahead and pick this uh, but very quickly, I am going to stop recording really quick just so I can make sure my uh, uh, capture device is working properly and there's not like too much delay or too much, uh, you know, non-sync going on. So hold on just a second, guys. Okay, we are back. Let's do this. Uh, Ghost Data has arrived via Spot Pass. Race against it now. Sure. And yeah, I don't think you get really any rewards for doing this. I think this is, again, just a way you can, uh, you know, just gets you in the mood to get start like working on some time trials and stuff that's basically what this is also i will say that i'm probably just going to be using my me and my uh cart combination for the rest of this playthrough um just because you know i'm going to be doing a lot of racing online i want to make sure i'm using like my setup and my uh all of my things that make me race the most efficiently so that's just the way it's got to be at least in the way i see it anyway uh, but yeah, so we're doing time trial now. Again, time trial is basically you race through the courses. You don't have to really worry about, like, items or anything. Um, but yeah, you just basically try to race through the courses and try to set a good time. And in the case of this mode, we're going to be racing some ghosts. Uh, some of the ghosts, I believe, are, like, you know, just players online, other people who've played this game, stuff of that nature. Uh, but there's also ghosts uh, from the developers of the game. You can actually find some Nintendo ghosts as well. And I'll definitely be going over that as well. <laughs> how that guy crashed into the uh, wall there. That's kind of funny. But yeah, that's that, that's the way you can tell that, okay, so I am racing against like actual people. Because, you know, actual people will make mistakes just like anybody else. Uh, but in these time trial races, because there are coins, it is definitely recommended you try to get 10 coins as much as possible, uh, just to uh, make sure you uh, get your top speed at your earliest convenience. Um, when it comes to the mushrooms, which I'm doing a terrible job at using, by the way, um, definitely find really good places to use your mushrooms, just so you can get a nice little burst of speed here and there. And just try to avoid, uh, try to avoid all the traps and stuff that are along the way. And obviously, try to avoid doing really stupid things in the process. Um, again, when I played Mario Kart Wii, I actually paid attention to a lot of time trials. And I feel like this game kind of did the same thing. Because, you know, you can definitely compare, like, your uh, time trials to other people that you're friends with on your, you know, your Nintendo 3DS, which is a cool feature, something I definitely like doing, but I don't know, I just kind of feel like Mario Kart Wii had a better emphasis on that stuff. Like, you could, like, quite literally just, uh, go to the Mario Kart channel in that game 
and just see like a giant leaderboard of all your friends' times and you know you compare them to your own times. Which again, I think it still exists in this game. It just seems like there was a slightly higher emphasis of it in uh, Mario Kart Wii. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I again, I, I haven't really played this game as much as I have played Mario Kart Wii, so. Honestly, I don't really know 100%. I probably should, but... I don't know, 2012 was kind of a weird time for me. I think it was like late 2011, 2012. Um, there were a lot of games I was in between. I was also focusing really hard on my YouTube channel, so I don't really know what I was doing, but... Um, you know, I wasn't playing this game as much as I played Mario Kart Wii. That's all I really know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for, uh, well, that's basically a way you can access the time trials. We're going to go ahead and go straight into the uh, time trial menu now. And again, uh, I'll just go ahead and look at this. I have a time submitted for this already. You can kind of uh, take a look how it compares to like a lot of different ghosts and, uh, you know, just kind of see like the best time overall and just how you stack up with some other people. Here's the... Uh, Here's actually a Nintendo staff ghost. This is uh, Nin Katie. Good old Nin Katie. <laughs> and I believe if you actually race the staff ghosts, um, and if you beat them, uh, you're supposed to unlock a uh, expert staff ghost. I don't know if I actually have the staff ghost, because I think this is the worst time. Also, sorry if you see my mouse cursor on screen anywhere. Again, just the nature of how I have to record these videos. Uh, but let's see, where are those times? Yeah, this is Nin... Actually, no, this is the... Uh... No, no, it's not. Hold on. It says Nin Katie. Okay, 135, yeah. And there's an expert staff ghost that has a time of 126. Oh, here it is. Okay, so yeah, there's an expert staff ghost. Uh, just out of curiosity, I guess I will go ahead and try to race them. And I don't think you get anything for beating these staff ghosts, or even unlocking the expert ones. I knew in Mario Kart Wii you did, that was how you actually got the, uh, the me costume B in that game. I don't think they actually give you anything this time around. I believe in Mario Kart 8, if you beat them, they actually gave you, like, uh, um, stamps for, like, Miiverse. Rip Miiverse, by the way. Um, that was one thing they did. But yeah, um, I don't really think there's a reason for going above and beyond in this way, again, unless I'm just, like, mistaken, and don't know 100% for certainty, because, again, Mario Kart 7, just not a game I've played a lot of, again. Also, how did he get ahead of so far right there? I guess he used his mushroom, um, across that, uh, the outside there, which makes sense. It seems like that'd be a good place to use it. Again, the whole thing about time trials, um, generally, as you might expect, just uh, knowing when to use your boosts, knowing when to use your mushrooms, uh, drifting as much as possible around those turns and corners, that's pretty much how it works for every single time trial, just like knowing the best way to uh, optimize um, all the tracks. And I want to say that, and again, it's funny that it, this came back, because it was such a big thing of the Mario Kart DS meta, but I believe snaking actually exists in this game, and that's like another thing you should definitely make use of when you're uh, doing time trials. Okay, yeah, that definitely saves a lot of time right there. Unfortunately, I lost, but, you know, I, I gave it a good shot. I don't even think I beat my top time, honestly. Oh, no, okay. I, I beat my time. But, man, 126. Ugh. I mean, surely there's got to be a way you can watch the uh, replay and see how exactly that ghost does, but... Yeah, pretty pretty solid time. Got to give him credit for that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to another course, uh, just for fun. Gonna, just, gonna be just doing this for a little bit, because, you know, I have other stuff I want to show off, other extras and stuff of that nature, so... Let's go to a retro course that I like playing through. Um, out of curiosity, let's actually try Calamari Desert just because it has the train and everything. Uh, so if we go to Calamari Desert, and it's also kind of cool, you can actually race against multiple ghosts if you really want to. If there are multiple ghosts. 
clearly right here there's not. It's literally just the, the Nintendo staff ghost here. Which, let me verify, Calamari Desert, uh, Nin Nishim, 201-932, yeah. So we'll go ahead and race you and see if we can uh, unlock the Staff Ghost. It's, it'd be pretty cool if I actually beat him and the Expert Staff Ghost in the same run, but highly, highly unlikely. But let's see what we can do. So I imagine what makes this one tough is uh, knowing when you want to uh, try to avoid the train. Well, it looks like he actually avoided the train, though. Uh, but yeah, the normal staff ghosts are generally pretty easy to beat. They'll just kind of, you know, they'll race perfectly, but they won't, like, race optimally. Like, you're not going to see them get hit by obstacles or anything. But they will be on, like, the road the whole time. They just probably won't do, like, you know, enough boosting. And they probably won't take, like, some of the most, like, optimal shortcuts or anything. Curiosity, let's try this. So I can see that actually being a pretty handy shortcut right there. So you can skip going like around those little bends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Okay, I made it. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna be here just as this train is leaving the station. Yeah, I think I'm gonna beat the staff ghosts this time, like no problem, but the expert staff ghosts probably gonna be a little harder to beat. I could see him having a time in the 140s or something. Okay. You know, I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm actually gonna see what his time is after uh, going back to the main window here. And it doesn't really tell you if you've unlocked the Expert Staff Ghost, which I know was a thing in uh, Mario Kart Wii, so that's kind of uh, unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Ah! Damn it, Ninkos! <laughs> Beating me by five seconds. Uh, and that's kind of what, it, again, that's just part of the, part of the challenge of time trials, It's just trying to find those optimal ways to get ahead of your opponent. Um, let's see, so we've done Toad's Circuit, we did Bowser's Castle, we did that one. Let's do one more. You know what, let's go for Rainbow Road. How could you not? It's a, it's a good track, it's a really good track. I apparently have raced on this before. I've set a time trial here before. Nin Asakur. Nin Asakur just having a much better time than me. Um, just for fun, I guess we can just ra race seven ghosts. We'll race seven ghosts. We'll have a little fun here. Uh, some of these ghosts have actually beaten me, too, so I can actually try to get a better record and uh, beat some of those ghosts as well. And if you want, you can always race your own ghost as well. Just, you know, race one of your own ghosts to see if you can uh, improve your own time. See, there's so much replayability in Mario Kart, especially if you want to take it above and beyond and, you know, almost play competitively, which is... You know, it's fine to do that. Nothing wrong with being competitive in a game. As long as you're not a jerk about it, that's all that matters. <laughs> like, I seem to be beating my time. At least, my current time, anyway. Okay, I got kind of close to going off the rails right there, so I wanted to be... A little more careful. I almost actually fell off the course right there, too. <laughs> Man, th this course is so freaking cool. <laughs> I know I say it every single time I race this, but it's just really, really mind-blowing how amazing this course is. I actually watched a video recently that actually had all 145 Mario Kart tracks 
and the person who made the video actually ranked them, and sure enough, this track was actually number one. Which, you know, honestly, I agree. I do think it is a really good track. Heck, I would even say it is probably the best track of all time. My only complaint is I wish they would have called it, again, uh, Rainbow Galaxy or something. Just to, just to mainly just go along with the, like, you know, the Mario Galaxy, uh, name and everything. It might be that Yoshi, which is kind of cool. I'll definitely beat my own time, but... Didn't beat Nin Asuka or whatever his name is, though. Frickin'. <laughs> Frickin' overachiever. But yeah, damn, these uh, these staff ghosts are definitely uh, pretty strong. Gotta give them credit for that. They actually brought in their best execs when it came to making those ghosts. Uh, so yeah, kind of a shortish video, but there's not really a whole lot to discuss here, and I think I covered a good deal of stuff anyway, so I think I am gonna go ahead and leave it at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit for right now. Uh, but if, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead in the comments section if you have any experience with, uh, you know, doing time trials and stuff of that nature. Like, let me know. Let me know, like, your experience with doing time trials, whether it's for this game or other games, because I do think it's a very underrated and really cool part of, uh, you know, Mario Kart games in general. Just kind of making a good time for a course, competing against your friends for a better time, and all that other good stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the battle mode video, so uh, I will see you guys for that. Later, folks.